everybody, Lindsay here. I'm going to test out this new recursion reticle for the JGX. I didn't even know I could do this. I knew that the recursion reticle created like a little shadow, and I, that was one of the quality of life things in, I think, my Vanguard VOD number two or three that I noted was was pretty helpful in, in improving my quality of life where I could see that shadow against live. But I had no idea that you could change the reticle until someone re responded to my YouTube or Reddit post for my YouTube channel and said that just use the new JGX reticule on recursion. I'm like, what does that even mean? So they, they gave me the Imgur link. I applied it and look at this. I, I went over this in my science theme video. The, I should have posted it by now by the time you see this, but man, that science scene gave me a lot of, showed a lot of promise. So now it's time to test it out. It's, it's not proven yet. And for what I'm doing here, it, it's meant for the Vanguard, but I've been able to apply it on test or in sanctuary, not sanctuary, <laughs> on a VR training room that, well, that it works. So, the, okay, can't see the wall where it is exactly, but let's go bottom yellow at first person no. Okay, so I need to go probably bottom half between the two. No. Bottom teal. Okay. So that's not what I want. I think it's about yellow. So it, it overshot, didn't it? So let's go 1.75 bottom yellow. No. Center mass yellow. Okay. Hit. And, well, my bad. Let's do it. No scope. Or third person. There it is. Teal. Okay. So now let's start trying to apply it against people. Killing enemies. There's an ant. Let's try you. There it is. And he's going to go right there. Okay, let's see. Can I be online? Oh, I hit the pillar. Nice. It hit pretty hard. Almost got gotcha. you. I'm hitting. All right. I'm getting a little aggressive for no reason. Let's try this again. Only this time I actually want to use a Vanguard. Let's let's do it. Let's do it the right way because I'm not really using logistics right now. Let's go with sweeper so I can probably switch out between the two. And but the two I'm talking about is there's a, a radio one that kind of has meter ranges and then there's the color coded one. So what do I have for SMR? I'm on Amorish. Enforcer. Stealth? Nah. There's too much armor. Error. I mean, air. Let's go with the Ranger. I really don't want to... I, I want to stay alive for as long as I can. And then you need to be 1.75. But I need to science that further because 1.75 might not actually be... The dimensions is just the one that the Reddit post said works closely with, but that's what science scene is. You figure out what the truth is. Mm, go back this way. So good news is that mm. Ooh. The good news is there is plenty of there's 
plenty of open ground here for me to troubleshoot and and test out. Uh, looks like we're all withdrawing, maybe. Why is that? Fight is still going on, but it looks like we're out popped. All right. All right, let's test this out. I need to scare away a little bit of air. Need to get out of here, boy. Get out of here, Bo. Run. Okay, there it is. There it is right there. There's my Sunday. Okay, that's one. Oof. Pop my shield. And that's why they are running. Okay. Good news is Split Peak is probably going to be the right place to do this. So let's extend this out. I'm eager to get to work on this one. See which one is the most effective. The, the metered reticule or the color coded reticule. All right, so the new target is here. All right, so there's our targets. So let's use in between the tower on the road as ours. All right, let's line it up with yellow. And 175, there's our first uh, halfway. No, way no. Halfway. Let's go with you. Almost. A little more. Okay, so I can already tell. Yeah, okay. So I can already tell that the that what I need to be doing now is changing. Okay. Just going back up. I'm going to change my reticle because now it seems like it's going to be easier to actually use the, the range. Let's try that tree real fast. Oh, it's not that one. Really? What is hitting me? All right, so let's change out this reticle. All right, so here's the other one metered. Hello. So there's my first guy. I can't see him though. Oh, there he is. All right, so he's 400. Dude. Okay, that didn't work. It's going to be a pain in the ass. And that's what it is on live. Got to find a way to make it work. We got to have enough juice so that it doesn't even matter. And in this case, having juice meant means having more people. Because so I'm just getting out, out gunned. All right, so let's try to be on line of sight in here. So 500. All right, so 530. So there's about there. Let's 
what's up? What are you thinking? Think you're gonna front me? Bruh. <laughs> Dude, the king's sake doesn't make you a king, my man. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So gal dropping this might not work anymore and that would have been the perfect spot to the perfect spot let's try mccalla see how that works out for me except i gotta do with the lightning okay cool cool doesn't work so i gotta do it manually I almost want to start over. It's taking so long. But this is a good way to showcase how sciencing works. Painstakingly long process. However, once you get the facts down, kind of like how this, this reticule helps with that. Once you get the facts down, then a lot of this really helps itself out you can start applying it across just about every engagement with success okay Orbital strikes going on. Cool. If I was a Vanguard, I could ramp that. But I'm not. Alright, let's check this out. So we are 520 something away. Any targets? Okay, there's a prowler. Enemy transport galaxy. Hostile galaxy in the area. Prowler. Prowler spotted. Three hundred. Locking down. Oh, three seventy-five. Nope. I need. Nope. Again. Try four twenty five almost. There we go. A little bit more. Now he's backing up. Let's go five hundred. Thinks he's behind the rock. Boom. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Prowler. 200. Oh god. Oh god. I didn't get him though. All right, so there is potential here. Let's try the other one. Color coded. Check it out. Now I can't use the metered range it's not going to be very helpful so i have to quickly target acquire correlate my mini map color with my line color i'll just call it that my line color and see if that works there's some flailing going on okay you are going to be here oh oh okay Beyond. Oh, that's not gonna work. Enemy 
All right, so this is a good this is a good practice right here just in between the two So it's not quite there yet Let's try yellow Yellow in half He's got a gunner, I guess. Please tell me I have Gnar on. Do you have Gnar? I do. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's let's try and reorient this. So he is at yellow. Alright. And I know it's not gonna work there. Because he's got a gunner. I've been a lot more successful being anti-air with this gun than I have elsewhere. I don't quite yet know why that is, but it seems to be true. It seems to be working. So there's a Sunday I need to take care of. So there's some potential. I'm going to probably need to part two of this one. Let's kill the Sunday first. The fighting power. missed see um would you like to know something i can kill you watch this but you can kill me oh nice all right that's where i'm gonna end it for now i'm probably i don't know if i'll post this one but if i do then there's probably gonna be another one because I'm just starting out how to apply this. I like the color one because it's easier to do, but the, the metered one is faster. I don't need a different implant to make the color one work, but it's a little bit harder. I have to look at my mini map and then judge how, where it's moving, how fast it's moving, and then look at my my line color and then track to that. Whereas if I have the metered one, then I kind of just track where it is along the arc and then that's that seems to be a little bit better. And also I'm using lightning, which is not what this is made for. So... It, it's not a perfect scenario, but it, it does seem to be working. So yeah, that's where I'll end it.